This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the color tools inside Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you two fast ways to improve the color of a clip, balance color and match color. I want to start with some simple color correction. And that is the new balance color tool. Apple made a change to this tool with the 10.4 release, which makes all the difference. Now it can easily be your go-to tool when you need to improve an image quickly. Let me show you how it works. Here's an image in Final Cut. It isn't bad, though it has a green cast. It's kind of, you know, dark. Be nice if I could improve it. Now clearly we could use all the manual color tools and power that's inside Final Cut, but I need to get this done like now. What are my options? Select the clip, go to the magic wand tool, and select balance color. And that quickly, we went from this to this. Could we do better manually? Yes, absolutely. Could we do it faster? Not a chance. The change that happened to make the balance color really useful is this. Here's a second image that's got a strong blue cast. If I go to the balance color tool and apply it, it brightens the clip, but there's still a blue cast to it. What Apple did that is so cool is this. If I select the clip and go up to the inspector, go down to balance color and change the method from automatic to white balance, click the eyedropper tool and click on something that's supposed to be gray. The balance color tool dials out the color correction and makes the image look great. Here's before and here's after. With a single click I dialed out the color cast. Here, for instance, I've got an ancient ruin in American Southwest. I could select the automatic tool, balance color, and it makes it better, though it's still green. It's kind of washed out. It's not perfect, but I'd like to have it be a little bit richer. And here I've got a shot that's got much more of a golden look to it something totally different, but it's got a tonality that I like. It's got energy, it's got brightness, it's got gold, all the stuff that's missing here. I'm going to select this clip, go to match color, and I'm going to match this clip by dragging over here. Now watch the clip on the right in the viewer in two, one, woof. It took the color elements of this shot and applied them to this shot. Now, I can't use the white balance tool because there's nothing gray. I've got shades of brown, but nothing gray. So I don't have anything that I can click on that would dial out the color cast. But by using the color tones in this image and applying them to this image, while the color tools inside Final Cut can do an even better job, if you're in a hurry and need to fix a shot, the big benefit to balance color and match color is that they are fast and they're pretty good. They're not perfect. We can do better, but we can't do any better any faster than these two tools. This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar looking at color tools inside Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com slash store and look for Webinar 278. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media, and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.